What's up guys, Bullet here, and I'm so excited to bring you my Black Ops 4 review. And before we begin, I just want to say this is strictly for multiplayer. I have not played enough Blackout or Zombies uh, in order to form a like opinion for a review. I've only won one Blackout game, and I've only played three. And I have only made it to around 20 in Mob of the Dead, Blood of the Dead I mean. Um, so I haven't really formed an opinion on zombies yet, but for multiplayer, ooh, I have so many things. So I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna start off with the good and leave the bad towards the end. So first off, I just want to say this game feels so good to play. This game feels like a brand new Call of Duty. It feels revamped. It feels like Call of Duty hit the upgrade switch, and I'm loving it. I absolutely love this game. It is so fun to play. Um, there's a couple of things they can fix. Um, there's a couple of things that they can make, you know, more balanced and fix some issues with them. But apart from that, they made a really good game, and I'm really happy that this is a game that I can, you know, put some time and effort in to uh, go for. Like I'm really wanting to grind and get gold for all the guns. Like I'm just feeling it. Um, uh, what else is there that's good? The map variations are really good. There's a couple of maps that I don't like, um, such as Arsenal and Morocco, but apart from that, those are the only two maps that I really have complaints about, Morocco and Arsenal. Uh, I just do not like those maps, there's just so much stuff that I just feel really off about them. Morocco has too many, you know, corners and, you know, co like, just places to turn, and Arsenal just has so many camping locations, it's just really not that good of a map. Um, but... Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's a really fun game, and, you know, it's really fun to, it's so satisfying to get certain things, like when you get kill streaks and you get feeds in this game, it's so satisfying, and I love how they implemented the fact that you can't just heal over time, you have to heal yourself manually, which is, uh, you know, a new thing in the game, which is really cool, uh, but, I mean, apart from, you know, really enjoying this game, there's nothing else I can say that's good about it, I mean, the, um, point system is great, the game modes are fantastic, control is really cool, and heist is unique, but you have to have good teammates that know what they're doing, I played heist this morning, people, and oh my god, these teammates were the worst, one of them just looked at an enemy, and he got killed because of it, like, it really, you have to have a full team of people with you, that you know, that you can communicate with, uh, to make it, like, such a more good experience, um, time to kill is okay in my opinion. Um, I feel like there's some tweaks that they should make um, to the time to kill in this game. Uh, and it's not because of the time, it's not because of the health, it's because of the weapons that you get shot with. Uh, but now, that's pretty much all I have to say about the good stuff. Now let's move on to the bad. <sighs> guns in this game are broken. Uh, two guns that I can think of right now off the top of my head, I'm just spitballing here. Uh, the KN44 and the <laughs> the KN44 and the um, Spitfire are just two guns that I can come up with right now. KN44 just is a six shot. And how do I know it's a six shot? Because there was a kill cam that was play of the game. This guy had full health. He turned the corner and started shooting a guy, and I counted the amount of bullets. It was six bullets to the body with the KN44 in order to get a kill. I am not even lying about that, guys. I am not even lying to you. And the Spitfire is just the highest rate of fire thing. Like if you're too close to a person with the Spitfire, just kiss your life goodbye. Kiss your streaks goodbye. Like everything you were going for, goodbye. And it's really bad. Now, it, I don't know. It's it's. I don't want to blame the time to kill. I don't want to blame the health. I just want to say that the rate of fire in this game means too much. If you have a high rate of fire gun, no matter what gunfight you're in, you're gonna win. And I don't think that's pretty really fair, to be honest. I think all guns should be able to withstand uh, other guns in a gunfight. So high rate of fire guns just need to have a, you know, a nerf to the rate of fire, in my opinion. And I know some guns are meant to have a high rate of fire, but there's a, there's a point where it's just too much rate of fire, and I don't like that uh, they implemented that. Uh, but what else is it? Sniping in this game. The hit boxes for sniping and the um, aim assist and the target acquisition is just so bad. 
it's really making it difficult to go for gold and I do not find that fun whenever I pull, pick a sniper in this game and try to go for gold every, like by the end of that match I already feel like uh, closing the game and just taking a break from it. it it's really bad and I know I'm not the best sniper in the world but I usually go for snipers first for gold in every Call of Duty game and this is the first time I've tried and I am starting to steer away from it without you know anything like without going for it like, it's really bad uh, I mean I don't really know anything else I can say this game is really good there's a couple of things that need tweaking um, but apart from that I mean it's pretty good game uh, I want to make a blackout review soon as well for zombies so make sure to like and subscribe hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on a video this has been bullet I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.